Welcome to A Dude's Nerdery. Tonight's Marvel Legends Thunderdome matchup is Captain America vs. The Red Skull. Round 1, Face Skull. Cap's face is really well done, man. Dude, I love those goggles and the sheen on them. Check out how it pops in contrast to the rest of his uniform. The face sculpt looks as much like Anthony Mackie as I think it can with the goggles and head wrap on. It would have been cool to include a second head sculpt. Four points. The red skull is a maniac. Dude, look at that insane smile. El Rogers. Dude, they knocked this out of the park. The reddish orange coloring is so cool and the skull is so finely sculpted, man. It looks so awesome from every angle. They literally managed to give a skull an expression. He does come with a second head sculpt that I will show you next with accessories. Five stars. Round two, accessories. As promised, the red skull comes with a second face sculpt that has a classic red skull expression. Dude, you just can't compete with the like maniac smile of the other one, but this thing is awesome. Vern, let me know what kind of custom you would build with this face sculpt. There are also three pairs of hands, fists, trigger fingers that actually hold this hydra gun perfectly but now that i see it in the left hand i'm going to want that hydra symbol facing outward so you could see it unless i maybe oh no actually that would be perfect because i can hold them like this and then the final accessories are two grip fists made to hold this cosmic cube when hasbro does something right they really do it right man look at that accessory Oh man, unlike Cal Kestis where we got a holocron that he can't hold, they deliver this perfectly crafted accessory combination. And then when you pull it back and look at him in total, look at that like skull face, the cosmic cube, and then his hydra rifle. Five points. Dude, I'd give more if I could, but uh, I don't make the rules here. That comes with his shield, which is like really, really well done. The colors pop, it's glossy. I mean, it's etched and carved just perfectly. And I really do appreciate how they have the leather handles underneath versus that other peg combination. It looks so much better, plus it holds better. A cap does not come with any additional hands, uh, just this one, which is designed to fit into the shield, and I'm assuming this one does as well. Big miss not having a fist for Captain America. Captain America does not come with wings. He comes with this... And I gotta tell you, man, this is the lamest Build-A-Figure I've ever seen. It is such a glaring omission to not have the wings with Captain America. And if you wanted to deck them out and make them epic, I'm totally cool with it. Uh, charges 29 for a deluxe figure and make those wings incredible. He just looks incomplete and it's just really lame. Make Agatha the Build-A-Figure and give Cap his wings in the box. Two points. Round three, body mold. Skull is out to an early 10 to six lead, but Cap comes swinging out of the box with his epic uniform from the Disney Plus series. Details on the arm gauntlet, the gloves. I mean, right up to the bicep, you have star on the shoulder. I love the homage to the Nomad Captain America. Man, just looks great with the red, white, and blue there. Pants are nicely wrinkled and they've got great detail all around them. Love that white stripe coming through. And then the armor on the boots is sweet, man. It's cool how they work that silver into the red, white, and blue. And it just has the right sheen to it as well. And then I love how the wrist gauntlets are extra shiny, man. Five points, easy five points. The skull has the updated thicker body mold, same as Dormammu. You've noticed the thicker cut here. I actually kind of like the way that looks. Caps is pretty well hidden, but you can see the difference in the cut at the torso. Dude, I love the way that green contrasts with the face. It's very plain and simple, but it's a nice homage to the classic comic book look. The belt has some nice detail to it. I love the light green on the gloves, and the boots are really well done. It, it's just a simple classic figure. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. And then, and then the yellow armband with the Hydra symbol is pretty sweet too, man. I really love this figure but it is a little plain, so I'm gonna give the body mold three points. Four, articulation. As I just mentioned, Red Skull has the thicker torso cut, also swivel at the waist, shoulder comes all the way out nicely, and then he has those upgraded pinless elbow joints. And check it out, man, it goes so far back, he could eat the cosmic cube. Nom, 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 nom. 
Skull rotates nicely in a 360 degree fashion. Looks well to both sides and you get sweet head tilt. Oh my God, dude, look at that face with the head tilt. And then he's like holding the Cosmic Cube out. <laughs> oh, awesome. This wrist does tilt appropriately. The rocker on the trigger grip fist does articulate north to south as you'd hope it would. Legs kick out and then we have a double pinless knee joint that goes all the way back. You get a cut at the boot and then a full swivel at the ankle. Four points! Jeff has a cut and swivel at the torso. Shoulder comes out about this far and it is hindered by the jetpack and then the way the armor sits there. You do have a nice double pinless elbow joint, but it does not come back as far as Red Skull, but I do love the aesthetic. I think they did a nice job on that. Cap kicks out wide, and then you have double pinless knee joint. Again, real nice aesthetic to it. Appreciate how they executed there, but does not come back as far as Red Skull, and then you have the full 360 degree rocker at the feet, and then both hands in flex side to side. Head looks down. So once I get the build of wings, uh, I want to post him flying and his head looking up. And then he does get a uh, really good side head tilt. I love that man. That looks awesome. I'm gonna go three and a half points. I don't think it's quite as good as Red Skull, but I think it. But I think the aesthetics of the. Pin, you know what? I'm gonna give it four points because of the aesthetics of the pinless. Four points for Captain America. The final round is a two for one. Five points for superpowers and five points for being able to evoke them through toy photography. The Red Skull is an expert strategist, inventive genius, and possesses a high level of intellect. We're going to assume this like big thick muscle body is the one with the super soldier serum, so he has enhanced abilities similar to Cap. Plus, he is highly trained in the martial arts. Because he's got these awesome accessories, he has an offensive weapon with this Hydra Blaster and wields the power of the Cosmic Cube! Five points for power. First photo I want to take is him just smiling and staring into the cosmic cube. All right, so now let's pose him threatening to wield the cosmic cube. And then as an expert marksman, he's got his Hydra Blaster ready to go. Five points for toy photography. I hold the power of the Cosmic Cube. You cannot defeat me, Captain America. Highly skilled and trained in hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. Martial arts including Judo Chop and Karate. He was trained by Steve Rogers himself. Sam is also highly skilled with this shield, either using it defensively or offensively as he hurls it and it defies physics. But he doesn't have wings. So man, he is at a major disadvantage when he's battling a red skull that has super soldier serum, a cosmic cube, and a hydra blaster. So Sam's got like a jetpack that might give him a little boost. So he's got a boost kick against the red skull. Oh man, Sam, it's not going to end well for you, buddy. Three points for powers. Let's pose Cap stoically with his shield. That's so cool, man. I just love the way his uniform, you know, face sculpt, goggles, the sheen on them, everything looks with the shield. Yeah, it's, now maybe have him looking down this way because I want a little bit of his uniform in it. Yeah, just the top, maybe. Dude, that's amazing. Cool. Let's use the Hasbro stand and get one of Cap jumping into the air, about to fling his shield at the Red Skull. Captain America scores a total of 23 points, lacking his wings, and winning one category for body mold and outfit. The Red Skull won for face sculpt, accessories, and powers for a total of 27 points, setting a new record. Let me know in the comments below which figure you won tonight based on these categories. I think both are fantastic. I'm so excited to have them in the display, and it's kind of fun pitting a comic book villain versus an MCU character. I'm really enjoying both the Disney Plus and the Super Villains wave so far. My only two wishes for the Disney Plus wave would be for Cap to have his wings in the box and more accessories for more of the figures. 
Please like and subscribe to be notified of the next Disney Plus Wave vs. Supervillains Wave episode and to join the noble quest of building this action figure collection. See you real soon.